In this video, we'll see how we can use object composition. Initially, we'll take a look at what are the decorators. Here, we have one decorator, which is written in TypeScript, and it's basically used to modify or configure a certain object. So basically, we have a template, and uh, this template now belongs to the example component. We can achieve the same functionality in JavaScript. And here we have one component, which has a template. And then we have one function, which actually accepts the component and modifies its template. So by running this code, you see that we have hello and new information. So we have the template and to the template, we have added the new information. And this is one simple way how we can achieve the decorator pattern in JavaScript. The problem with this approach is that actually we are mutating directly the properties of the component. The decorator pattern is useful in this case uh, to decorate a single component, but in, in order to achieve true composition, where we are aggregating different functions inside of one object, we'll use different approaches. Let's now see how we can create a mix in using object assign. So basically we have one object which is uh, having a function of set template and it returns original to the screen. And then we have one external library uh, which also have a set template uh, function. And uh, by passing those two to the object assign, we can compose an object but actually it's called a mixin because uh, we're using uh, properties from the external library and from our object and it, this can create problems. Let's run the code and we see now that we have the output of overriding. That's because our original function has been overridden by the external library and this is uh, a normal functionality of the assign operator where we have uh, our properties in the targets objects are being overridden by properties of the sources if they have the same key. And here the set template has the same key as the external library. And this way our original uh, function gets overridden. We can um, partially um, fix this problem by passing an empty object to the assign operator. In this example, we see that we start with an empty object, then we use our external library, and then we're using our original uh, set template in order to compose the component. You may think that this might fix the problem, but actually, in this way, our original set template functions overrides the external library. So whenever the external library is trying to run its own set template function, it will run the my component set template function causing errors. If we run the code, we see that uh, we are just overriding the external library with the original function. Now let's see how we can fix those types of problems. Basically, we are simplifying the code. And again, we have the external library function. This time we are using the external library uh, and it's copy. We don't use directly the object assign method. This allows us to have a, a separate copy of the function, which actually is what we would like to achieve. If we run the code and we see that the original function is preserved and of course the external library can also work with its own version of a set template. That's how we can achieve a true composition. In the next example, we'll elaborate this approach while using a pipe operator. Now we'll see another approach and towards achieving a composition. And for this approach, we'll use the, the pipe uh, or compose operator. Basically here we have two functions, set template and set name, and we're composing via this uh, pipe function, the execution of those both of two functions. So first we'll run the set template, and then with the output of set template, uh, we'll pass it to the set name. And uh, let's see how our newly created component will behave. So we run the code and uh, we see hello John. This means that uh, we can run functions one after each other. The magic of this method uh, is hidden here inside of the pipe uh, function implementation. So basically we're passing uh, functions as uh, arguments uh, to this function and then 
uh, for each of the functions we uh, with the reduce operator we are saving uh, um, its output and we are passing it to the next function and this is very beneficial because we can use this in order to compose our objects so in the next example we'll take a look how we can do this using even uh, states so basically we have initially our component uh, with the following data we have hello user and the template as uh, they are uh, set up uh, uh, here hello user and then the template is the second argument then we are using the change function so we are changing to hello user and the template is a new template and as you can see we save this into a variable which is called new state and then we are able to display this information but when we uh, display the original component once again by uh, using JSON uh, stringify on the component we see that the original component hasn't changed this means that uh, after each change we have achieved immutability uh, by having a new uh, state without touching the original uh, component state and uh, that's the benefit of uh, immutability now to the code we have a certain state we are initializing it and uh, basically in all those functions which later will compose our uh, component here set login and uh, set template uh, we are basically grabbing the previous version of the state and we are adding something to the component so we are returning a copy of uh, this state also we can modify the state of course but all the changes that we are creating we are returning as a new copy of the object this means that we are obeying of the rule of uh, immutability we are not changing the original object so the same is for the set login we are just uh, displaying certain information and uh, by using uh, this type of uh, object composition we can uh, just choose what kind of uh, functionality our objects would like to require and uh, uh, just uh, implement them inside of uh, uh, the objects so this method is uh, way more flexible than using uh, traditional class uh, structures all right guys thank you for uh, watching if you have enjoyed the content you can subscribe to the channel